Well, we've come to the final day of Licksmas. Let's see what our lick is today. <laughs> Once again, we have a lick from Trey Wellington. If you haven't listened to his music yet and his latest release, you should go check that out. There's some really cool stuff in there. This lick is a single string lick, through and through, start to finish. It's also a pretty long lick, so it's another example of something you might want to take one idea or the other and put it into something in shorter bits. Let's take a listen to the lick played slower. <laughs> Now for the B part of this lick, there's really a few ways you could play it. You could start with the index finger on that first string and do the entire line thumb index thumb index, or in this case index thumb index thumb. Uh, but there's another approach you could take. The right hand pattern that worked well for me was thinking about ways where I could get my middle finger involved. That way, instead of just being thumb index thumb index the entire time, I could actually almost simulate rolls even if that means it's only over two strings or even one string, sometimes that fluid motion of that thumb, index, middle, or any combination of those can really feel a little smoother. It can also give you a, a smoother sound depending on the situation. Now, this might not work for you, and it might not work for someone else, but this is just what worked for me, and you never really know until you experiment with these different ways of playing things in your right hand. So instead of an example of playing this lick in a song or tune today, I'm going to show you a close-up of my right hand, both with a kind of thumb index, thumb index approach, and then an approach that features my middle finger. It's not really a thumb index, thumb middle, or thumb index middle pattern all the way through, but if you watch carefully, you can see how I get my middle finger involved in a way that can feel a little more like a roll in between these single string lines. Consider starting and learning with some sort of consistent pattern. Thumb index is probably the great one to start with, though some people really like thumb index, thumb middle. Once you've got that pattern down, you can always approach something you're learning, specifically single string, the same way. And as you start to progress and get it a little faster or you find problem areas, that's when you can start to take a step back and say, okay, how can I re-examine my right hand? Will a roll work here for this moment? Or maybe thumb middle works better or even it might just feel the same, but you might like the tone a little more. So I encourage you to experiment. So we've made it. The 12 licks of Licksmas. This was lick number 12, which means we're all done for 2020. So I'd like to take just one more moment and thank Eli Gilbert for asking me to be a part of the 12 Days of Licksmas for 2020. This has been an incredible project. I learned a lot. I had an absolute blast. And more importantly, I had so much fun working with all of these other great banjo players. If you haven't checked out their music yet, what are you doing? Go check them out, subscribe to their channels, and I hope when we all return to the normal world and everything's under control, start going to see people's shows again, support these banjo players, they definitely deserve it. If you've enjoyed my videos, please consider subscribing, and if you'd like to check out some of my playing outside of short YouTube videos, I play with a great band out here in the San Francisco Bay Area called The High Water Line. We put out a record not that long ago called Introducing The High Water Line. Give it a listen. I sure would appreciate it. So that's it. Licksmith 2020 is officially over. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and I hope you have a good rest of the year. Who knows, maybe I'll see you next year for Licksmith 2021.